anything I can say in my life. Si puedo decir algo en mi vida. God has been good. Dios ha sido bueno. Been good every day. Ha sido bueno todos los días. He's good today. Él es bueno el día de hoy. He's worthy of my praise and my love. Y él es digno de mi alabanza y de mi amor. Amen. Let's just close our eyes and raise our hands right now. Si podemos cerrar nuestros ojos y levantar nuestras manos. And Lord, we lift our voices to you this morning. We lift our hands. We lift our hearts. We lift our praises, O oh God, to you for your goodness and your love and your mercy. There's nothing that compares to who you are and what you are, what you've always been, and what we feel in our hearts today. Be praised, Jesus. Be praised, hallelujah. You may be seated. And uh, thank you to our setup team. Group A or Group B today. El grupo A el día de hoy. I mean, group A got here early and helped us get set up quickly. El grupo A que llegó temprano aquí nos ayudó a montar todo. Y apreciamos bastante ese esfuerzo. And, and between all of us, it doesn't take long. Y entre todos no tarda mucho. And what a wonderful place to be able to worship the Lord in. We're safe as we can be. Y estamos seguros. And here outside. Aquí afuera. God's blessed us with cool weather. Dios nos ha bendecido con un mejor clima. Yes, and it may be a little smoky. Quizás hay un poco de humo. But it's been that for two weeks, and I've done everything else I want to do. Y es, pero he estado así por dos semanas y he hecho todo lo demás que he querido. And so why not worship Him? Entonces, ¿por qué no adorarle? think it's the glory cloud. Hallelujah. And we'll worship him with all of our hearts. The glory cloud of God can move into this place today. Amen. Thursday night, night service will be online. And we have some special invitations here to our outdoor services. In the service tonight, you can come. Y cuando terminamos el culto, usted puede venir. And, uh, and take a few of these and make sure you invite someone. Y agarrar algunas de estas para invitar a alguien. And be like my grandfather or my great grandfather. Puede ser como mi bisabuelo. And he would give my grandfather when he was a little boy. Él le daba a mi abuelito cuando era he would give him five 22 bullets. And uh, he wanted five squirrels for those cinco, <laughs> those five bullets that he gave. <laughs> so we're going to give you three invitations. And we're going to expect you to pray over them and ask God who to give them to. And uh, for those that would like to participate, we have uh, uh, the youth at the back. And then they have the waivers that must be signed if you're on these premises. If you've already signed them, you're good. And how many really want to worship Him today? Deserves it today. Él se lo Stand with us as we go back into His presence.
bendición. I want to preach to you this morning with this title. Y quiero predicarles con este título hoy. Amen. I must be blessed. Tengo que ser bendecido. I must be blessed. Yo tengo que ser bendecido. Amen. How many of you feel that way today? ¿Cuántos se sienten así hoy? Amen. I believe that's why you're here in the house of God. Yo creo que por eso estamos aquí en la casa de Dios. Because you have a great desire to be blessed of Him. Porque tienes un deseo de ser bendecido por Él. And I know that the Lord is going to help you. Y yo sé que Dios te va a usar. Amen. It's that desire that provokes God's blessings. Es ese deseo que provoca la bendición de Dios. Not our goodness. No es nuestra eh, bondad. But it's our desire to be blessed of God. Pero es nuestro deseo de ser bendecido por Dios. It causes the windows of heaven to be opened. Que causa que las ventanas del cielo se abran. And the blessings of the Lord to fall. Y que las bendiciones de Dios puedan caer. You may be seated. Pueden tomar asiento. You may look at your neighbor with your mask well on. Puede mirar a su vecino allí con su máscara bien puesta. And say, I must be blessed. Y dígale, yo tengo que ser bendecido. What about you? ¿Y qué de usted? Amen. What about you? ¿Qué de usted? You know, people, somebody said this. Alguien dijo esto. People want to have your blessings. Alguien quiere tener sus bendiciones. And, and, but uh, they are not willing to serve the God that gave you those blessings they desire. Pero no están dispuestos a servir al Dios que sirves para esas bendiciones. Sometimes it's easy to look at people that are really blessed of God. A veces es fácil ver a alguien que es bendecido de Dios. And desire the blessings that they have. Y desear las bendiciones que ellos tienen. And, uh, and, and that's how we feel here today. Y quizás así nos sentimos el día de hoy. Amen. But it's because we serve Him. Pero es por causa de servirle a Él. It's because we love Him. Es porque le amamos a Él. Because we follow after Him. Es porque le seguimos a Él. Now Rebecca knew that she had twins in her womb. Ahora Rebecca sabía que tenía gemelos en su vientre. Because they were at war. Porque estaban en guerra. Now, I, I've seen mothers and and they'll all of a sudden grab that that stomach uh, that baby just gave a good kick. But can you imagine two of them in there? And they're duking it out. Y están ahí peleando. And then a right cross and a left hook. A karate chop, Sister Lakia. Amen. And so there's a war going on in her womb. Entonces, hay una guerra empezando en su vientre. And, and so she goes to the Lord about this. Entonces, ella le va al Señor en esto. Lord, I, I didn't know it was going to be this way. Señor, yo no sabía que iba a ser así. What is happening in my body? ¿Qué está sucediendo en mi cuerpo? And so the Lord speaks to Rebecca. Entonces, Dios habla con Rebecca. There's two nations that are going to be born from you. Y hay dos que van a nacer de ti. The older one is going to serve the younger one. Y el mayor servirá al menor. So Rebecca knew what was going to happen. Entonces Rebecca sabía que iba a suceder. And every chance she got, she tried to help that younger son. Y cada vez que tuvo oportunidad, le ayudaba al hijo menor. But you see the desire of Jacob even from his mother's womb. Pero uno puede ver el deseo de Jacob desde la de su madre. And that's what I'm preaching about today. Y de eso estamos predicando hoy. You've got to have a desire. Tienes que tener un deseo. And that desire for God is going to be greater than anything else in your life. Y ese deseo para Dios tiene que ser mayor que cualquier otra cosa en su vida. So as they are being born. Entonces al nacer. And, 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 and Esau gets a head start. Esaú sale casi primero. Now I'm trying to be careful as I describe this. But Jacob uh, somehow knows, that little baby knows. Pero ese bebé Jacob sabía. Amen, I want God's blessing. Que él quería las bendiciones de Dios. And he reaches out that little bitty hand that he had. Y él saca su mano pequeñita. They say the twins typically are a little smaller than just single babies. Dicen que los, los gemelos o mellizos a veces son más pequeños que un bebé normal. Amen. My way, my wife, I looked at her weight when uh, she was born. Yo miré el peso de, de mi esposa. Five pounds 
in, in, in eight ounces. Y cinco libras con ocho onzas. I mean, I don't look at her weight now. Hallelujah. Man, but uh, that little guy with that little bitty hand, Pero ese pequeñito con esa manito, he reaches out and he grabs the heel of his brother Esau. Él saca su mano para agarrarle el tobillo de su hermano. You see, he wanted to have the upper hand. Porque él quería haber salido primero. Jacob was a fighter. Jacob era un luchador. And he was willing to always fight for what he wanted. Él quería pelear por lo que deseaba. Man, one day Jacob was cooking. Un día Jacob estaba cocinando. And Esau comes home. Era al revés porque Esaú estaba cocinando y Jacob llegó. No, no, Jacob was cooking and Esau came home. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's what I wrote anyway. <laughs> and so uh, Esau started. Entonces Esaú tenía hambre. And he comes home and he smells. The, you ever had a pot of food on and it just smells up the whole house? Usted ha tenido algo de comida y huele toda la casa. And I got a big nose. Yo tengo una nariz larga. And I come in the house and I can smell that uh, uh, pollo, seco de pollo. Cuando yo entro en la casa y puedo oler un seco de pollo. But I don't know why they call it dry chicken because it's got a sauce in it. No sé por qué le llaman seco si tiene bastante salsa. But it just draws me towards that pot. Pero eso me me está llevando hacia esa olla. And I gotta take the lid off and I gotta smell it. Just let it walk up into my nose. Yo quiero sacarle la tapa para oler todo lo que sale de allí. And this is how Esau was that day when he came home. Y así se sentía Esau. But we see the nature of these two young men. Pero vemos la naturaleza de estos dos hombres. He saw only thought of today. Esaúl solo pensaba en el día de hoy. He only thought about his fleshly desires. Él solo pensaba de sus deseos carnales. But his brother Jacob. Pero su hermano Jacob. Had his heart set on God's blessings. Tenía su corazón puesto en la bendición de Dios. And so Jacob. Knows that the opportunity is going to come someday. Entonces, Jacob sabe que va a venir la oportunidad algún día. And maybe this was the day. Y quizás este era el día. He said, I'll tell you what, Esau. Dice, ¿sabes qué, Saúl? I'll give you a bowl of my beans. Yo te daré un poco de estos frijoles. And then if you sell me your birthright. Si me vendes tu primogenitura. Now, Esau evidently didn't think too much about far promises. Ahora, Esau no estaba pensando. Oh, he could think about what he wanted right then and right there. Lo que él podía pensar era solo en aquí y ahora. And so uh, he decides it's worth it. I'm going to die anyhow. Entonces él decide pues igual voy a morir. And so he gives up so much. Entonces él da demasiado. For so little. Para tan poco. And I found there's people like that even in church. Así, aún en la iglesia, They're willing to give up so much. Están dispuestos a entregar demasiado. A heavenly home with the Lord Jesus Christ. Hasta un lugar celestial con el Señor Jesús. A promise of eternity with God. Una promesa de eternidad con Dios. A city that has no night there. Una ciudad que no tiene noche. For so little in this world. Por en este mundo. And so Esau gives it all up for so little. Entonces Esaúl entrega demasiado para tan poco. Now Isaac, their father. Ahora Isaac, su padre. He was getting older. Él estaba envejeciendo. Decided it was time to give the blessing to his firstborn. Y decidió que era tiempo de dar su primogenitura la bendición so a su primogénito. So he calls Esau and he sends him to hunt. Entonces le envía a Esaúl para que vaya allí a But uh, Rebecca hears what's going on. Pero Rebecca está escuchando lo que está pasando. And you remember Rebecca knew that the younger that was going to be over the older one. Pero acuérdese que Rebecca sabía que el menor iba a ser mayor que el, que el de mayor. And so she finds Jacob. Entonces le encuentra a su hijo Jacob. And I don't know if you were like my family was. No sé si usted es como mi familia. My mother would try to call one of us and she would use three of the other one's names. Mi madre llamaba a uno y llamaba a los otros tres. If you didn't answer, she said, you knew I was talking to you. Y si uno no respondía, decía, pero yo te estaba hablando a ti. Man, uh, Sister Sakina, have you ever done that? Hermana Sakina, ¿ha 
hecho eso alguna vez? You go down the road, you know who you're talking to, but you can't remember their name. Y usted sabe con quién habla, pero no se acuerda del nombre. And so she finds Jacob. Entonces ella encuentra a Jacob. And uh, she says, I want you to run quickly and go and, 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 and prepare a little goat. Dice, quiero que vayas rápido y que agarres a un chivo. And you see, she got into action. Ella se puso en acción. When you want a blessing, You gotta get in the action. Cuando uno quiere una bendición, tiene que ponerse en acción. When God gives them out to those who want them. Dios le da al que quiere. And man, if you love God, you worship Him. Si uno le ama, Dios le adora. And when you worship Him, His presence comes nigh. Y cuando uno le adora, su presencia llega. Then Jacob killed the two goats from the flock. Y Jacob quiero que vayas y mates a dos chivos. So he runs out there and he does that. Entonces él sale y lo hace. And Rebecca prepares it just like Isaac likes it. Y Rebecca lo prepara justo como le gusta a Isaac. Isn't that right, ladies? Your men have a certain ways they like their food. No es verdad, mujeres, hay hay esos hombres que les gusta tener sus comidas a, a cierto punto. A man, and, and, and they're in there, and they're just especially when you're cooking what they really like. Especialmente cuando uno está cocinando lo que le gusta. They enjoy fixing something called uh, a seco de pollo. Enjoy hace algo que se llama seco de pollo. It's chicken in this delicious sauce. Es un pollo dentro de una salsa. Man, my wife fixes a, a chicken and rice in the oven with lots of garlic, won't it? And mi esposa hace un pollo con arroz con bastante ajo dentro del horno. And then Stephen smokes some ribs. Y Esteban hace unas costillas asadas. And then he chops up all that rib meat and makes some tacos with uh, uh, tacos al pastor with piña. Hallelujah. Y después hace unos tacos al pastor con piña. By uh, Taqueria Tijuana coming to church this morning. And I said, I can't wait till Taqueria Tijuana opens and we can go there after church. Amen. We might go there today and just have tacos in the parking lot. Amen. But Rebecca knew just how Isaac liked that food. And, and she cooks it. Ella no cocina. And after Isaac has eaten that delicious food, después de que Isaac ha comido, then he calls that son that had brought it to him a little closer. Le llama al hijo que se lo trajo a que venga más cerca. The voice was not right. Y la, la voz no era la correcta. And Isaac wanted to verify if that was uh, Esau or not. Isaac quería verificar si fuera Esaú o no. And so he gets him up closer. Dice que se venga más de cerca. And Rebecca had put the, the land, the, the skin the, uh, of the goats on his arms. Y Rebecca le había puesto los pieles del animal en sus brazos. And so Isaac feels that hair that Esau was supposed to have. Entonces Isaac siente todos los vellos que él tenía, que Saúl tenía que tener. And he smells him. Y él le, le huele. If somebody's been out in the field hunting, you don't want to smell them. Si alguien ha estado en el campo, eh, eh, uno no lo quiere oler. You know, imagine Isaac in like this. Me imagino que Isaac hizo así. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yes, it's Esau, all right. Sí, es Esau. Then, so he begins to bless him. Entonces él empieza a bendecirle. The blessing flows from the father's lips. La bendición sale de la boca del padre. And, 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 uh, and Jacob hardly gets out of the presence of his father. Y Jacob casi sale de la puerta. And Esau comes in. Y llega Esau. And uh, just seems like that Esau is always a little bit behind. Y siempre parece que Esau llega un poco tarde. It's a way of life for him. Es su forma de vida. You see, he had been around God's blessings a long time. Alrededor de la bendición de Dios por mucho tiempo. But he was not quite in the blessings of God. Pero no estaba dentro de la bendición de Dios. There are people that are around the church. Hay personas que están alrededor de la iglesia. They are around church people. O que están alrededor de gente cristiana. But they don't allow the blessing that's falling upon the hungry. Pero no permiten que la bendición que cae sobre los que tienen hambre. To fall upon their life. Amen. And, and I don't want to be like Esau today. I want to be like Jacob. I must be blessed. I must be 
blessed. My father Esau said, I'm here to receive my blessing. And when Isaac heard that familiar voice, he begins to tremble. But who are you? I am your I am Esau, your firstborn. That's when Isaac says what we use as a verse today. Your brother was already here. And he tricked me. And he has taken away your blessing, Esau. Suddenly, Esau realizes that his carelessness y Saúl se da cuenta que él no guarda en la forma que él buscaba a, a la bendición de Dios venían para hacerle daño you see, there was such a the of Esau and Jacob. que había una diferencia en la actitud de Saúl y Jacob It was so that God took tan diferente que Dios tomó nota God's feelings to us. En Malaquías nos relata los sentimientos de Dios. God said, Jacob, have I loved. Dios dijo que a Jacob amé. But Esau, I hated. Mas a Esau aborrecí. I mean, those are strong words. Son palabras fuertes. I mean, God looks down upon two brothers. Dios mira a dos hermanos. They're raised in the same godly household. Que se criaron en la misma casa cristiana. One has a heart. God, the other does not. Dios, no. Jacob did whatever he had to do to be blessed. He saw God's blessings all of his life. Buscó la de Dios toda su vida. It was a continual pursuit. Era una and I can look at my family. Yo And then there are seven of us. Hay siete de nosotros. And some sought after God continually. Algunos hemos buscado a Dios continuamente. And others did not. Y otros no. Those that have have been richly blessed by God. Los que sí han buscado de Dios han sido bendecidos por Dios. And those that have not lacked those blessings in their life. Y los que no le han buscado les falta esa bendición en su vida. While Jacob sought after God. Jacob buscando a Dios. On the other hand, Al otro lado, God's blessings were less important to Esau. La bendición de Dios no eran tan importantes para Esau. The scripture Esau. even says la escritura nos dice, that Esau showed contempt for the rights and the blessings that he had. Que Saúl mostró su disgusto por la, la, la primogenitura que tenía. Man, a bowl of beans was more important. Allí un plato de frijoles era más importante than a life that would be blessed by God. que una vida bendecida por Dios. To me this Quiero que me escuche atentamente esta mañana. Your attitude towards the things of God. Su actitud hacia las cosas de Dios determine how much God can bless you. determina cuánto Dios te puede bendecir. Is he first in your life? Él es primero en su vida. Is he first thing think about every morning. And I usually wake up before my alarm goes off. And I like to lay in bed for about 10 or 15 minutes before I get up. I don't know if you're like me. I, I, I get in a fight with a pillow and the covers. But I start thinking about God. Pero empiezo a pensar en Dios. Thank you for a safe night, Lord. Gracias por una noche segura. My prayer time starts before I ever roll out of the bed. Y mi tiempo de oración empieza antes de salir de la cama. Thank you that I'm healthy this morning. Gracias que tengo salud hoy. Thank you that I can breathe today. Gracias que puedo respirar hoy. Thank you that I have the salvation in my soul. Gracias por tu salvación en mi alma. Thank you that your mercies are new every day. I'm going to go the second mile. I'm going to go the 
third mile if I have to. Amen. If it takes an hour and a half to get ready for church, so be it. We've blown the dust out of this place this morning. Thank God for a group of people that showed up at 8.30 to work in the house of God. You know why you did that this morning? Because your attitude is as the attitude of Jacob. I must be blessed. I must be blessed. Amen. Your brother has stole your blessing. Esau starts grumbling. He's mad. No wonder his name is Jacob. Or deceiver. Or he's cheated me now two times. I don't think he cheated him the first time. No, creo que le engañó la primera vez. He offered him a bowl of beans for his birthright. Le ofreció un plato de frijoles por su primogenitura. And, and, and Esau decided to take the offer. Y Esau decidió tomar esa oferta. If we're looking for excuses, we're going to find them all the time. Pero si buscamos excusas, los vamos a encontrar siempre. And then it gets easier and easier to offer excuses. Nos es más fácil ofrecer excusas. But try offering that excuse to God before you offer it to somebody else. Pero intenta ofrecerle esa excusa a Dios antes de que a otro. If you think you'll hold water before God, then call me and tell me that. Si usted cree que va a aguantar esa excusa delante de Dios, entonces llámame. Well, we make our own decisions. Nosotros tomamos nuestras propias decisiones. And as for me and my house. Y yo y mi for me and my family. For me and my wife. For me and my kids. That we're going to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. With every drop of energy we have. I may not have what I used to have. And then now I need some stairs to go down. Hallelujah. And I like the stairs to go back up now. And my violin legs don't want to go up and down as easy as they used to. Amen. But now I'm here in the house of God. And I'm with the people of God. I'm with the Pentecostals of Fresno. Amen. You're my family. You're my brother. You're my sister. We are the family of God. Somos la familia de Dios. And we are in the house of God. Y estamos en la casa de Dios. With the desire I must be blessed. Tengo que ser bendecido. Man, I must be blessed. Hallelujah. How many have that attitude? You'll stand with your feet right now and worship Him. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated. Tomar you may not have got exercise all week long. I'm going to give it to you in church today. These are Pentecostal calisthenics. Estos son I mean, instead of saying one, two, three, we say in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Amen. I must be blessed. I must be doubly blessed. If you have an attitude, that's what you're going to get today. You get what you desire. Amen. Jacob wanted all things blessed. He wanted the birthright privileges. He wanted the blessing from his father. You know Esau wanted the blessings too. But listen very carefully to what I'm about to say. He was unwilling to do what it took to be blessed. It's one thing to want to be blessed. It's another thing to do what causes you to be blessed. Jacob was so different. 
Jacob era diferente. He had to be blessed. Él tenía que ser bendecido. Even though his brother was the first one to make his entrance into this world. Aunque su hermano entró en el mundo primero. Amen. There's Jacob holding on for dear life. Allí está Jacob con su mano agarrando. You're not getting out of here without me. No te sales sin mí. Amen. From his mother's womb. Desde la vientre de su madre. There was a fight in Jacob. Había una guerra en él. Then there was the time in Bethel. Y después estaba ese tiempo en Betel. You know, all he had was a staff in his hand. Usted sabe que lo único que tenía era una barra en su mano. He had to hurry and leave Isaac and Rebecca. Tuvo que ir de apresurado de sus padres. To get away from dangerous Esau. Para poder salir de, de su hermano que le amenazaba. He traveled all day long. Él había viajado todo el día. Nightfall came. Y eh, llegó la noche. And Jacob made a small camp. Y Jacob hizo un acampado. Made a small fire. Hizo un fuego. And uh, then he got a stone for a pillow. Y agarró una piedra como almohada. I mean, I like a pillow about this thick. <laughs> Me gusta a mí una almohada bien gruesa. And then I put another pillow on top of that pillow. Y después pongo otra almohada sobre esa. And some of them sleep without a pillow. Algunos duermen sin almohada. I mean, my head just falls back. Pero mi cabeza se cae. I mean, my neck hurts and when I get up if I don't have a pillow. Y mi, mi, mi cuello duele después. So there's Jacob with a rock about this tall. Entonces, ahí está con una almohada alta. And I screwed up on the headboard of the bed. That's why I like a headboard against the wall. Y me gusta una cabecera en la cama. And I call up on it. My head's up against that wall. Y yo tengo mi cabeza puesta casi en la pared. He's weary. He's tired. Él está cansado. And he falls asleep quickly. Y se duerme. Had to be a lot of things going through Jacob's mind. Que tenía que haber sido muchas cosas pasando por su mente. And what will happen to me out here alone? Qué pasará conmigo aquí afuera solo? Will I ever be able to see my mother and my father again? Podré ver a mis padres otra vez? Will my mother's family receive me when I arrive there? Será que la familia de mi madre me reciba cuando llego? But sleep overcomes Jacob. Pero allí llega el sueño. And then a dream comes. Y viene un sueño. There's a ladder that goes from the ground all the way up into heaven. Una escalera que va del cielo hasta la tierra. And angels are going up and down that ladder. Y los ángeles suben y bajan. Yesterday I was closing the gates at the house. Ayer estábamos cerrando allí el vallado de la casa. And I hear Stephen hollering at me. Y, y escucho a Esteban gritando. And I'm looking around. Where is it? Y estoy mirando por dónde está. Finally, he was up on top of the roof of the house. Y él estaba encima del techo de la casa. He got up there, but he couldn't get down. Estaba encima, pero no podía bajarse. And he said, "Bring me the ladder." Y me está diciendo, "Traiga una escalera." I take the ladder over there and let him get down. Entonces le llevo una escalera para que se baje. And Jacob's deep asleep. Y ahí está Jacob dormido. And he's seeing angels going up and down on the ladder. Viendo estos ángeles subiendo y bajando. And as his eyes follow one of the angels up towards the top. Y al estar mirando uno de los ángeles que va subiendo arriba. He sees an imposing figure at the top of that ladder. Él ve una figura arriba. A voice thunders at the top of the ladder. Y una voz que sale desde arriba. Jacob, I'm the God of your father Isaac. Jacob, soy el Dios de tu padre Isaac. I'm the, I'm the God of your grandfather Abraham. Y soy el Dios de tu abuelo Abraham. And the promises that I made to them. Y las promesas que hice con ellos. I'm going to give them to you. Se los voy a dar a ti. I, I want a mother and a father to grab a hold of the promises of God with everything you've got. Yo quiero que haya padres aquí que agarren las promesas de Dios. I want you to wrap your arms around God's word. Yo quiero que usted abrace la palabra de Dios. Wrap your arms around the promises that God has given to you. Que abraces las promesas que Dios te ha dado. Because sooner or later. Porque tarde que temprano. Those promises are going to trickle down to that boy, to that girl. Esas promesas van a llegar a sus hijos. That you love so much. What's going to happen to me out here, God? ¿Qué va a oh, I, I've got it all taken care of, son. Ya está solucionado, hijo. Promises I made to grandpa and to dad. Las promesas que hice a tu abuelo y a tu padre. You're going to see them come to pass. Vas a verlos a, a llevar a cabo. And I'm going to take you back to the land where you were born. Voy a llevarte la tierra al cual fuiste nacido. And I'm going to give you the land that you uh, that was promised. Y voy a darte la, el, 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 la, la área que te prometí. So 
Jacob wakes up and he's startled. Y entonces se levanta Jacob asustado. He said, this is no other than the house of God. Dice, esto es la casa de Dios. But you know what made it the house of God? ¿Y usted sabe lo que lo hizo casa de Dios? It's because the God of the house had come to speak to him. Porque el Dios de la casa vino a hablar con él. He's more than 40 years old. Él tiene más de 40 años. The best I could figure about 43 years old. Casi 43 años entre lo que estamos this is figurando. The first time that God speaks directly to Jacob. Y es la primera vez que Dios habla directamente con Jacob. Jacob knows exactly what to do. Jacob sabe exactamente lo que tiene que hacer. Because he's seen Grandpa and Dad do this. Porque él ha visto a, a su abuelo y a su padre hacerlo. He builds an altar to God. Y él construye un altar para Dios. And he makes a commitment to God. Y hace un compromiso con Dios. You're not going to get very far if you don't commit yourselves to God. That's Usted no right. va a llegar lejos si no That's se compromete right. con Dios. Then your grandfather and your father's commitment will not make up for your lack of commitment. El compromiso de su padre o su abuelo no va a hacer la diferencia por su falta de compromiso. My grandparents were committed to God. Mis abuelos estaban comprometidos con Dios. My mother was committed to God. Mi madre era comprometida con Dios. But there had to come a day when Gary made his own commitment with the Lord. Pero tuvo que llegar un día que Gary hizo su compromiso con Dios. When I made a commitment, I'm going to serve the Lord too. Cuando yo me decidí voy a servirle a Dios. And Jacob doesn't know quite how to say it. Y Jacob no sabe cómo decirlo. He says, "But Lord, if you'll be with me." Dice, Señor, si estarás conmigo. And you'll bless my life. Y si bendices mi vida. You'll bring me back to the land of my parents. Y me traes de vuelta a la tierra de mis padres. And I'll serve you. Yo te serviré. You'll be my God. Serás mi Dios. And he went a little further. Y se fue más allá. He said, I'll even give a tenth of everything you give to me back to you. Y dice, hasta te daré un diez por ciento de lo que me das a ti de vuelta. When somebody commits financially to God. Cuando alguien se compromete financieramente con Dios. It proves to me their heart is there as well. Eso prueba que su corazón está allí también. Amen. But the Bible says that money answers everything. La Biblia dice que el dinero contesta todo. And one translation says it tells me what's in your heart. Y en una traducción dice que nos dice lo que hay en el corazón. So at 43 years of age. Entonces con 43 años de edad. Having been around the things of God. Al estar alrededor de las cosas de Dios. Having received some of God's blessings. Al haber recibido algunas bendiciones de Dios. Jacob decides. Jacob decide. Man, I'm going to do what God blesses. Voy a hacer lo que Dios bendice. And how could God not bless that kind of commitment? Y cómo Dios no iba a bendecir ese compromiso. He's faithful to keep his promises. Él es fiel para cumplir su promesa. But he expects us to keep ours. Pero él también espera que nosotros cumplimos. Man, you see, Jacob. Jacob. After having been deceived by his uncle Laban. Después de ser engañado por su tío Labán. And he marries Leah instead of Rachel, the one he loved. Y se casa con Lea en vez de Raquel, la que ama. Amen. He worked seven years for Rachel. Él trabajó siete años por Raquel. Amen. And he gets up in the morning after marrying her. Y se levanta después de haberse casado la semana, la, la mañana que viene. Takes a look, a little look over. Y le mira. <laughs> Sometimes things go wrong. A veces las cosas salen mal. There's nothing perfect in this life. No hay nada perfecto en esta vida. There are things that happen that should not happen. Hay cosas que suceden que no deberían pasar. Instead of looking at our blessings, some people look at the things that go wrong. Uh, en vez de mirar nuestras bendiciones, muchos miran lo que fue mal. And they always complain about what's going wrong in their lives. Y siempre están quejándose de lo que va mal en su vida. Instead of looking at what's going right in their life. En vez de mirar en lo que sí va bien en su vida. We've all had some heartaches. Todos hemos tenido un rompimiento de corazón. We've all had some pain that we've had to deal with. Todos hemos tenido dolor al pasar. Then I lost my mother almost three years ago. Hace casi tres años perdí a mi madre. My dad here in the half ago. Y hace un año y medio perdí a mi padre. I'm a long way from all of my other family. Y estoy muy lejos del resto de mi familia. Amen. But when I look at my life, pero cuando miro mi vida, Amen. God has far outblessed those things. Dios ha bendecido más allá de esas cosas. In the middle of the pandemic, we have the blessings. 
of God. In the middle of the pandemic, we got a place to worship God in. We've got strength in our lungs. We've got strength in our bodies. We've got the presence of God. Somebody ought to feel blessed this morning. Somebody ought to feel blessed enough to stand to your feet. Raise your hands and thank the Lord. I must be blessed. I cannot live without His blessings. No puedo sin sus bendiciones. I'm trying to hurry. Amen. Jacob is deceived by his uncle Laban. Después de que Jacob es engañado por su tío Laban. You know, I know some people that say, well, they talk bad about me. Yo conozco gente que dice, pero es que hablan mal de mí. You know what the Bible says? ¿Usted sabe lo que dice la Biblia? So what? ¿Y qué? I mean, you talk bad about others. Usted también ha hablado mal de otros. So just take it. Entonces aguante. Look at Ecclesiastes, that's what it says. Mira que Ecclesiastes es lo que dice. Some people think that somebody talks bad about them or criticizes them. Pero si alguien habla mal de algunos y les critica. If that's how they are in the church. Si así son en su iglesia. I'm not going to go back. Yo ya no vuelvo. Pero uno tiene que pasarlo. Amen, it happens. Sucede. They talk bad about you in school. Ellos hablan mal de ti en la escuela. And you still went to school. Y igual fuiste a la escuela. They talk bad about you at work and you still go to work. No hablan mal de ti en el trabajo y usted todavía va al trabajo. They talk bad about you in church, still go to church. Pero si hablan mal de ti en la iglesia, igual hay que ir a la iglesia. I don't go to church just because you're there anyway. I don't go to church just because you're there anyway. Yo no voy a la iglesia porque usted viene. I go to church because he's going to be here. Yo vengo porque él va a estar aquí. And he to us, sir. Y él es a quien sirvo. Amen. And so, he says, I, I, I want my first blessing, though. Él dice, pero quiero mi, mi bendición. I worked seven years and look what I got. Tengo, he trabajado siete años y mira lo que me dan. Amen. But I'm in love with Rachel Steele. Pero estoy en the Bible says those seven years seem like a week. Y la Biblia dice que esos siete años parecen una semana. And uh, so he said, uh, uh, Laban says, well, if you'll marry, if you'll work another seven years, I'll let you marry Rachel. Entonces Laban dice, si trabajas siete años más, te doy a Raquel. And I don't know if he used this term, but I'm going to use it today. No sé si él usó este término, pero lo voy a usar yo. Hot diggity dog. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Man, have you seen Rachel lately? Has visto a Raquel? Amen. So he, he works another seven years. Entonces él trabaja siete años más. This was the heart of Jacob. Esto era el corazón de Jacob. He had to be blessed. Él tenía que ser bendecido. And he wasn't going to stop without a blessing. Y él no iba a parar sin su bendición. And Hosea said this about Jacob. O sea, dijo esto de Jacob. He said, even in the womb. Dijo, aún en el vientre. Jacob struggled with his brother. Jacob luchó con su hermano. And when he became a man, y cuando se hizo un hombre, he even fought with God. Aún peleó con Dios. Yes, he wrestled with the angel. Él luchó con un ángel. And he won. Y venció. He wept and pleaded. Él lloró y rogó. For a blessing from him. Por una bendición de parte de él. Somebody so aptly said. Alguien dijo también. Don't ask God to bless what you do. No pidas que Dios bendice lo que haces. Do what God blesses. Haz lo que Dios bendice. If you worship, you're going to be blessed. Si usted adora, va a ser bendecido. If you pray, you're going to be blessed. Si uno ora, va a ser bendecido. If you desire the things of God, you're going to be blessed. Si uno desea las cosas de Dios, va a ser bendecido. If you give, you're going to be blessed. Si das, Dios te bendice. If you're working for God, you're going to be blessed. Si para Dios, vas a ser Do what God blesses. Haz lo que Dios bendice. You'll be blessed. Y Musicians, please. Si los músicos vienen. Lastly, y ultimamente, Jacob is on his way back to Canaan land. Aquí viene Jacob al lugar de Canaan. He's worked for 
for his uncle Laban for 20 years. Y él ha trabajado por su tío Laban por 20 años. So he's way back to the place where he lived for the first 40 years. Y él está regresando al lugar donde vivía por los primeros 40 años. And he's about 63 years old. Y tiene casi 63 años. Older than me, hallelujah. Más viejo que yo. <laughs> I'll be turning the big six zero on Tuesday. El martes voy a estar cumpliendo sesenta. That means I still can fight with an angel. Eso quiere decir que todavía puedo pelear. I still got strength to fight for the blessings of my God. Todavía tengo fuerzas para pelear por la bendición de Dios. How about you this morning? Has anybody got that attitude this morning? I must be blessed. I must be blessed. They fled from Laban. Ellos corrieron, huyeron de Laban. There were some tense moments after Laban had caught up. Y hubieron momentos tensos cuando llegó Laban. But finally they agreed to live apart in peace. Pero después decidieron de vivir aparte en paz. But now it was time to deal with Esau. Pero ahora era tiempo de ver y tratar con Esau. Would Esau still hate him after 20 years? Será que Esau todavía lo odia después de 20 años? Would his anger still remain after so much time? Será su furia la misma después de tanto tiempo? Jacob sent messengers ahead. Jacob envía mensajeros por delante. Tell Esau that his servant Jacob is coming. Dile a Esau que viene su siervo. What appeared to be a forceful y lo que parecía algo de fuerza Angry y una respuesta furiosa y Saúl reúne a 400 hombres When Jacob knew about that, y cuando Jacob se dio cuenta he divided his family into two groups. él dividió su familia en dos grupos He's got 11 sons and a él tiene 11 hijos y una hija two wives and two concubines. tiene a dos mujeres y a dos concubinas no sé cómo trataron eso I've been reading that this week I said my 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 there never was peace in that home entonces yo leyendo esta semana dije nunca había paz en ese hogar so he divides them into two groups entonces los dividen en dos grupos he hopes to save at least one of them quiere salvar por lo menos a uno but you know what now it was time to pray pero llegó tiempo para orar Jacob had to have God's blessings Jacob tenía que tener la bendición de Dios before this meeting antes de esta reunión I want to talk to somebody right now quiero hablar con alguien ahora I don't know what you're facing yo no sé lo que estás enfrentando but I do know what you need to do pero sí sé lo que tienes que hacer you need to go to the one tienes que ir a that has all the power in heaven and in earth to pour out a blessing upon you. Amen. And so Jacob's prayer was classic. Lord, it was you that told me to return back to my homeland. You promised me to be kind. When I left home 20 years ago, I'm saying this one, Joy. I was poor as Joe's turkey. Yo estaba bien pobre. I can just see Joe's turkey, just as skinny as he was. Yo podía imaginarlo flaquito y pobre. And then all he had was a walking stick. Lo único que tenía era una vara. He says, now I have enough to fill two camps. Dice, ahora tengo dos acampados. God blesses his people. Dios bendice su pueblo. You be faithful to God and just watch. Si uno es fiel a Dios, solo mira. Do what God blesses and just watch. Haz lo que Dios bendice y verás. He's got two camps full of people. Él tiene dos campamentos llenos de gente. Animals, riches. Animales y riquezas. Man, he says, all I can count on today. Dice, y todo lo que puedo hacer hoy. Are your promises. Es contar en tus promesas. And your blessings. En tu bendición. And he sends many gifts ahead to Esau. Y él le envía regalos a su hermano. Jacob had done what was within his power to do. Jacob hizo lo que estaba dentro de su poder hacer. To appease his brother. Para poder aplacer But a su it just brother. didn't seem like enough. Pero no parecía lo suficiente. He made sure that his family got across the river okay. Se aseguró que su familia pasó el río bien. And 
and uh, he goes back to the camp alone. Something more was needed. His earlier prayer was not enough. And if you prayed a while back, pray again. Pray again. His earlier prayer was not enough for that day. Su oración del ayer no era suficiente para ese día. Because a greater blessing was needed from now. Porque una bendición mayor se necesitaba ahora. So as he prayed, the angel of the Lord appeared. Entonces al estar orando se parece un ángel de Dios. The desperation of Jacob. Y en la desesperación Jacob. Caused him to grab a hold of that angel. Eso le causó que agarrara él al ángel. And he would not let him go. Y él no lo dejaba ir. The dawn was approaching. Iba, iba a rayar el alba. And uh, the angel did not want anyone else to see him. Y el ángel no quería que otros lo viesen. He reaches down and he touches Jacob's hip. Y él va y le toca el costado de Jacob. And Jacob begins to limp. Y Jacob empieza a cojear. He falls to one side. Y se cae a un lado. But with both hands, he's got his arms wrapped around that angel. Pero con sus dos brazos le agarra al ángel. Pero esto es mi mensaje. I will not let you go. Yo no te dejaré ir. Until you bless me. Hasta que me bendices. I must be blessed. Tengo que ser bendecido. I must be blessed. Tengo que ser bendecido. Any of you would like to stand and come and around the altars and just spread out if you would. Si usted quiere ponerse de pie y venir a este lugar dejando espacio. There's a big altar area coming over here. Hay mucho lugar si usted se quiere acercar. You can come around the sides if you'd like. Si quiere puede venir hasta los lados. Yeah, but you've got to have that attitude. Pero usted tiene que tener esa actitud. I cannot go one more day. Yo no puedo ir ni un día más. Without the blessings of God. Sin la bendición de Dios. I cannot face my brother Esau. Yo no puedo enfrentarme con mi hermano Esau. Without the blessings of God. Sin la bendición de Dios. I must be blessed. I will not let you go. Not even God could resist that kind of determination. No longer be called Jacob. Could be called Israel. Because you have fought with God. With men. And you won. Prince with God. Eres un príncipe con Dios. And he limps away from that encounter. Y sale cogiendo de ese encuentro. But he limps away. Pero cuando sale cogiendo. Be a blessed man. Ahora es bendecido. Now he can face Esau. Ahora se puede encontrar con Esau. Now he can face his brother. Puede encontrarse con su hermano. Now he can face whatever else life will bring. Y puede Because he was a blessed man. And man, and if you're blessed of God today, you can face anything that life can dish out. Because God's blessings reign upon your life. As they sing, raise your hands to the Lord.
turn back to you.